I found this really interesting project posted on the Computercraft subreddit the other day called Basalt. It's advertised as a easy to understand user interface framework designed for Computercraft tweaked. The demonstrations the developers or the developer have made are really interesting. So I wanted to do two things. One, boot into Minecraft and test out the demos, actually download them, play with them. Then two, just kind of do a quick install and do the, the introduction. Because I'm quite new to Lua. Definitely new to making user interfaces. This seems really powerful. On the project's GitHub page, if you go to examples, and I'll do preview one, then raw. Control C. I'm currently in 1.18 version of Minecraft with the CC tweaked advanced computer. If I do LS, see that there's nothing on this one. W get and control V to paste it. We'll just call it preview.lua. Doesn't matter. If I do edit preview, this is the file that we just downloaded. This part here actually downloads the Basalt user interface framework if it's not installed. And down here is the actual program we're going to run. So this is just a handy little feature to download it if it's not installed. It runs this file and gets it. Roll R. It's a pretty large file. And I think it downloads it as a single file. I got this error. So on the installer page here, there's supposed to be a basic installer. Looks like it's the right paste in file. Wish the computer craft was a little bigger, the screen. So the first thing I noticed right away This method, or whatever it's called, not in here. I'm pretty new to all this. Hopefully this works. I just pasted that in to match it up to what's on their wiki, because in theory the documentation should always be correct. The examples may be a little out of date, with different versioning, etc. If I do Control s Control r Okay, so this piece of text here that I actually have highlighted was missing, and that was causing the issue. Interesting. Control T to cancel that. Control R. So when you first run it, it actually doesn't draw the object. Go to program and go back. These aren't going to have any functions. They're just demonstrating, I guess. How you interact with them. Of course, that won't take letters, it'll just take numbers, and then this should star out your password. So potentially, you could make a little program or a little mini game. Kind of interesting. Add shell. Oh, that's interesting. Console in a console. Weird. And then an editor. I don't know if that will save, it must just be a demo. Control T, cancel, and Control E to exit. So if I go back now and grab the second preview, raw, W get, roll paste, let's name this preview2.lua. 
Edit P2. Control R. What's interesting is this example doesn't have the auto downloader in it. So if it wasn't already downloaded, it wouldn't run. It's saying that it needs this, but it doesn't download it automatically. Another error, schedule, line three. Throw a C in there, Control S, Control R. Okay, so it loads. Okay, so I guess there's an XML file with this that I forgot. That must be what it's previewing or demonstrating. So control C. Exit out of that. W get. Now I expect that it's actually going to be looking for a proper name of a file. Load this XML. So I'll call it exactly what they call it in the example. Assault preview 2.xml. Oops. So it's downloaded. Let's run the P2 again. And control R. Oh, interesting. Objects. Well, you can even scroll with the mouse wheel. This is actually really cool. It knows what's in focus. So if I scroll on the button, nothing moves. But if I scroll with the mouse wheel here, here, the appropriate frame actually moves. So the fact the buttons do this when I click on them, it's a really cool animation. Progress bar example. Oh, this is really interesting. This is actually really crazy. The more programs we can run in a program, and an editor. What does this open do? I see. Oh, it's like a little movie showing you what's possible. That's really crazy. Control T. Control exit list. Yes, so without this basalt preview XML file, I guess this wouldn't run. And looking down here, there's a Discord one, but I'm not too familiar with Discord. I guess you throw in a bot ID and some server IDs and channel IDs and you can chat. Actually, the computer craft Reddit, I think this example they posted. Yes, this is the Discord example. And this actually posted to their official Discord, I believe, which is right here. If you want an invite. Lots of good information and um, help on there. I've seen people asking questions and getting good answers. Really helpful resource. Along with the wiki, of course. This one's interesting. The progress bar energy example. This one might have the same typo. 
but fortunately I already have Basalt installed, so I'm not going to run into it. What I found interesting was I did not know that Mechanism actually had computer craft support. So we go raw, copy, w get, control v, and uh, energy.lua. Edit, energy, control r. So right now we got zero. So in the example, they specifically use an ultimate energy cube. It took a second to update, but here this salt auto update, it's ran every time, and I guess it's like a refresh. If I hook up this one, output out the bottom, we should see it drop. This one increase. That's pretty interesting. I think this is a really good example for me to start on to try to learn how to draw stuff because it's pretty small and it's not overwhelming. We'll throw it on a brand new computer, LS, nothing's on it. Edit example dot so I kind of want to use this basic installer example that they have posted. This is interesting, the quick start. Local assault equals wire. So here they have an example with lots of good comments. And here's just the concise version of it. There's much better ways to bring this into the world get it into the computer, but I'm just going to copy and paste it line by line for the magic of editing. Okay, so they have an example that I'm familiar with that I can read and understand for the most part. Some good comments. And down here, this is a new style of programming that I don't recognize, but I guess it's more succinct and beautiful code. That's what I copied and pasted in. And right off the bat, we're going to have a failure because I don't actually have Basalt installed. If I run this, Control R, line 1, not found. If I go back to the installer, so they actually tell you right here that if you wanted to download a single file, you could... So I forgot to save this. I'm saving it now after recopying it in. So looking at our directory, we don't currently have Basalt installed. And there's a folder version you can install for people who want to really dig into the code and maybe customize it. I definitely don't want to do that. So if I was to run this command, list, now we can go edit, example. I always like going into edit mode first. I can run it from here, just a personal preference. That's what the program does, but it doesn't reset or refresh. It's just been clicked on, that's it. So if I remove assault, we just have example. I guess that wasn't supposed to be indented. It doesn't matter, it's just easier to read. If you include this piece of script at the top of your basic thing, go control S, go R to run it, it immediately says, hey, this file's not there and it downloads it. And they have a more advanced installer that actually uses a GUI to install, which is probably another really good example to look at. So this is another section on the wiki that I found really interesting, the tips and trick. This method one here using this parallel wait for all function is really interesting. I've been using it on other programs I've been making. But basically it jumps between these two things. So this could be the code that you're, I guess, writing. And as long as you tell it to sleep, it actually calls this coroutine, which 
stops doing this, pauses, and it lets the other thing run. I should preface this with, this is my understanding, is this is your code that just runs, and then this is the GUI that you can build on top of it, and it kind of just bounces between them. And they got threads, all the stuff is really new to me. They have method three using timers. And some interesting comments in here I found. And again, documentation. We go to the linked CC tweaked page. It actually talks about this parallel. Wait for any versus wait for all. It's pretty cool. I've used it in previous videos. Well, I guess that's it. This is a really interesting project still being worked on. And as of the time of my video, they last posted an update 11 days ago, so it's actively being worked on.